Guess what? I got married eight years ago and I did not like my wedding dress. I am sorry I'm putting this out here, but I think I am very okay saying this right now because it's like me taking off a very heavy load from my chest. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tomi Adenuga. If today is your first time of watching any of my videos, thank you so much for watching. And if you've been a regular here, welcome back. So today I'm going to be addressing something quite different. And it's going to be six reasons why your wedding dress might look cheap. This is not to address anybody or to attack anybody or to like make anybody feel bad or insecure or pressured. Let me even start and let me tell you a very simple and a very short story. When I went wedding shopping, I actually went to shop in London and they took me to several bridal stores. I got the top two dresses that I want and even my mom and my auntie that went shopping with me were very okay with the dress I got. But I don't know what happened to me. I don't know what just entered my head and I was like, I was not getting this dress again. I was getting this dress. The first dress I would have gotten was a mermaid dress, like that kind of like ball and the mermaid frills and the tail and it was so beautiful it was ivory it fitted everything was very okay but i don't know what just made me change my mind and i went for another dress this is what happened they told me i could not get the dress then that i should go back to lagos nigeria and that the dress will be ready in about two months it will take them two months to make my wedding dress and my mom will come with it the thing was this, my mom was coming to Nigeria for my wedding just a week before the wedding and we had planned that she was going to bring my wedding dress. So we made all the payments, we did everything we were supposed to do and mind you guys, this was London so you just believe that if it is in London, anything will be perfect, right? So I just like gave them 100%, we made the payment and my dress was supposed to be ready for me to wear on my wedding day and everybody just went to sleep. Guess what happened? I chose a different color of my wedding dress. It came as white and not as the ivory I saw in the store. The day my mom came back to Nigeria and she brought my dress out, I wanted to cry guys. Like I wanted to shed tears because that was not the dress I picked. It was looking so different. It looked tacky. The threads were like hanging all over the place. I didn't believe it was the same bridal store that I went to that delivered the same dress. I was like, what happened? And this dress was so, so, so expensive. It was a lot more expensive than what I should have even gone for. Everybody wanted me to get married in the other dress, but I don't know what made me say I was not getting married in that dress and I wanted this other dress. So guys, let me just put this out there first. I have to quickly share my own short story to reassure everybody. Paying a lot for a dress does not mean it's not going to look cheap. That's what I'm actually telling you. I paid over a thousand pounds for this dress and it still came out looking cheap. So I'm not here to attack anybody. Maybe you are trying to be like, work within a budget. You can work within a budget and your dress will still look perfect and nobody will know how much you bought it. But the moral of the story is to tell you the six things that you can do or six things that can go wrong that can make a wedding dress look either expensive or cheap. From my own experience, from what I have seen, this is the reason why I'm sharing these things with you. So the first thing is this, you can argue with me, but I'm just stating the obvious and I'm stating what really happens. If your dress is white, it actually looks cheaper. I think these days it's safe to go with colors. The kind of colors I mean, I mean off-white, I mean cream, I mean ivory. A wedding dress that is too white and that sparkling white, trust me, if you put it like for like, the same pattern, the same cut, everything, if you put the ivory beside the white, the white might eventually look cheaper than the ivory. So if you don't mind, if you have the option of choosing your wedding dress and you can choose another color apart from white, I would advise you to choose the off-white color. Don't choose white. The second pointer to making a wedding dress look cheap is when it is shiny. Like, you can't afford to have a shiny dress. It's the same thing as the white. When it's too white, when it's very shiny, it appears cheap and it appears tacky. That happened to me despite me paying a lot of money for my wedding dress. It came as white and it was very shiny. And shiny means the mistakes will just be very obvious. It might look very rumpled, but if a dress is like less white and matte, yes, that's the word I need to use. Let it look a bit dull. It might look a bit dull, but trust me, your pictures is definitely going to pop. Let the dress 
just be as dull uh, in quotes as possible don't let it be too shiny i know then we think of like expensive as very very in the face like very shiny and everything but this even real gold does not shine that much so that is where i want you guys to address this from when it's too shiny then it's definitely going to look cheaper the third thing is if you have a strapless dress if you are wearing a strapless dress for your wedding brides brides to be if you have anybody that is getting married please send this to that person a strapless dress on your wedding day does not need to be tugged at the strap please that is like a no no that is not the time for you to start tugging it everybody will just wonder that oh is, is it that she didn't go to the tailor or to the fashion designer to have a measurement made or something on that day or before that day make sure you talk to your fashion designer if you are buying the dress make sure you buy the dress and make sure that they get your correct size you have to measure everything well and make sure that it sits on your chest proportionately let it sit there well if you start tugging it will appear in the pictures to show that there's something wrong in your pictures and it might appear cheap the fourth thing that will make your wedding dress appear cheap is when there are too many things going on you have to choose something guys i know it's your wedding day and you want to be like the bell of the ball you want to appear like the bride everybody wants to like be the royalty of the hair and everything but sometimes less is more less will go a long way trust me i've been there i've done that and i've advised people if you want to go for a dress don't make like don't let us know the focus of that dress don't put too much on the same dress like you have two here you have frills here you have a bow you have this you have the collar here less is more trust me don't make like when people know what the focus of the dress is that will make them appreciate the dress better if you want to go for frills go for frills if you want to go for like a very busy tool skirt go for that if you want to go for like bows on your dress you can actually like merge it together but don't let it be too much i believe you know what i'm trying to talk about so less is definitely more in this case so by the time you have so much going on your dress or the person's dress will appear cheap so please if you're trying to choose a dress look for something simple let it be the focus and that will make your dress like very outstanding this leads me to my next point another thing is too much accessories thank god this is 2019 and we are going to another decade things have changed in fact these days i see a lot of brides getting married and they don't have like absolutely no accessories sometimes you might just go for like a stud earring you might go for something small and very dainty these are the days that you wear absolutely nothing like so much you don't have to have like the very big and bogus necklace if that is happening right now please just change your mind if anybody suggests that to you please change your mind you don't need to have like chandelier earrings sometimes it might be your style but if you're having like long earrings which are like the chandelier earrings you don't need to have like a very busy neckline at more as much as possible let your dress even do the talking for your neckline as well if you want to wear a sweet hat neck having a necklace there is going to take the focus from the neck of the dress so sometimes it's better for the neck to be bare if you have so much going on on the dress so much of your accessories then it's going to be too much going on our advice is that you get a very good headpiece if you do that with your hair and you leave everything here bare and the focus is on the dress then you have a very good health look at the end of the day so the last point in making your wedding dress look cheap is if you wear a very high low wedding dress please a word of caution i'm not condemning anybody's choice this is me just stating my personal opinion and what i think i'm not a fashion god or anything like that so if this is your style please feel free but i'm just stating my own opinion one reason why your wedding dress will also look cheap is if you wear a very high low dress i would advise you to choose one if you want your wedding dress to be short let it be short if you want it to be long let it be long even if it is high low let it not be so obvious that the top is very low while the rest of the train is very very long let it be something that is close to your ankles and that kind of thing so a very high low wedding dress just looks like it's off it doesn't look very very appropriate for the occasion in my own opinion like i said if that is your style feel free everybody has their own opinion at the end of the, at the, end of the day but if you choose a high low wedding dress from like what vox pop will say it makes the wedding dress look cheap so guys these are the top six points i will tell you to consider when you're choosing a wedding dress or if you're wedding dress shopping or if you're going out with someone some people don't even know what to look out for and like i said in the beginning 
cost does not actually determine expensive or cheap and cheap is actually relative you might spend a thousand dollars on your wedding dress and it might still look cheap and someone else might spend something far considerably lower than that like a very very low amount you might spend hundred dollars in wedding dress and it will look very very good so sometimes it's not even the amount of money you exchange that make things look right like i've just said look out for these obvious things and at the end of the day you definitely have the look that you're watching for if you enjoyed my video kindly don't keep this to yourself please pass this around to your neighbor to your friend to your colleague your sister your aunt anybody and if you've not subscribed to my channel as well kindly subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell for more videos kindly follow me on instagram as well at the tomi and i'll see you in other videos